Hey people, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing a story time video mainly of how I found DB and how did I get to this point. Um, yeah, I didn't really have any good video ideas because I'm super stressed out and it's almost the end of the second semester for me and I'm kind of super tired right now. And things have been going on. Um, and I just want to say sorry for that and uh, I feel like a horrible person but um, anyway sorry about that um, I'm gonna be mainly talking about how I found DB and stuff so mainly like the backstory cause some people want to know like how I found DB and I literally wrote a script of what I'm gonna say but because I know I'm gonna mess up at some point and forget the point is I think I told this like back videos ago, but I didn't really get into the full detail, so this will be a full story of how I found DB. It was around October 2015, so sort of after my birthday, like a few days later after my birthday, and thanks to the magical Majestic Friends activity, I found this game, game called Devil Beater. And I read the title and was like, this is really interesting, like, I've never heard a game called DB and that stuff. So at that time I was still like a huge fan girl of my studios, like TMM, my people. Yeah, I was a strange person, okay? I decided to click on DB and try it out for the first time to see what is up. And like any other basic smith, I seriously had no idea what's, uh, what's going on. And when I tried to play the game, I got super frustrated, impatient, and bored because I literally saw like because I was a new person at the time that DB was a really boring game. <laughs> and I saw the characters shoot to cast in McFarrow for the first time because they were the story of the characters of DB. I got upset that there were no female characters because as like girly girls I preferred to play with female characters not male characters but you know I had to suck it up and while I was trying to figure out the mechanics of DB I wanted to do a gameplay on it just because of how cool it is but um after some attempts I kind of stopped and realized I don't think this video would be really good at all, and the gameplay won't be that good, so I kind of stopped and just gave up on it. After it got so irritating, irritating, and the gameplay itself was super complicated. So a week later, or like probably like more than a week later, or maybe under a week later, um, I wanted to try DB again. Just because I am determined enough to figure out the game mechanics and that I'm adventurous to figure it out. So I tried to play DB and the first starter character was Shu Lumia. And when I was trying to play DB for the second time, I decided to make my first video of DB. It's still on my channel floating around. Edited it and uploaded to YouTube. Just because I want to show like the types of games on Roblox that it's really different. So after I uploaded my first video, a lot of you guys wanted me to do more DB just because of how fun it is. And at first I didn't want to do more because it was so stressful. And I didn't get the storyline because I started at the at the on a, like a really bad act, like I saw it like around act twenty ish or so, and at that time when I joined DB, there were around 26, 25 ish acts, and it was around the Xenon arc that was in development. Previously known as the T Force arc, and now it's a Xenon arc. So I kind of listened to your guys' request for more DB videos. And I did them. I know my story isn't kind of a wowzers kind of thing, but I think I feel like my story is relatable to like any other person who starts out any game for the first time. And I see how that relates. 
I think I went for like other games like BFS or Monster Island or do know uh I don't know but um yeah that's all for that's all the storyline and if you want more story type videos like backstories of how I found VFS or Monster Island or even you get my YouTube backstory just comment down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!